Okay, we are going to make this circle graph using the protractor. So the first thing we want to do is start with a circle and a radius line. The radius line goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. Now I've already calculated my degrees, so I'm going to move my protractor over here so that it is lined up with my radius line. Okay, so your protractor will either have a marking here for the center or some of them will have a hole in it um, so that you can see exactly from the center to the side. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start with baseball and baseball turns out to be 40 degrees. So I'm going to read this scale on the protractor, the one that starts with zero and goes up to 40. And so I want to move my line to 40. Now some protractors are not going to have this movable line and that's okay. You can just go over here with your pen and you want to make a mark right here at 40. Okay, 40 degrees. And then you're going to take your ruler. See that's 40 degrees. That's what we had. So then you're going to take your, um, your ruler here or you're either going to take your protractor and you're going to spin it around so that it lines up with that and then you're going to draw a line from the center to that point okay but you'd only use you'd only draw to the edge but you're going to use that point to kind of line it up because this is the angle so here's the 40 degrees and then there you go see it worked 40 degrees um, so that's going to be my first piece of pie and that is baseball so then I would label that baseball. Now this becomes zero, okay? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to line my protractor up again with this right being at the hole and then I want to pull this so yeah, so it's right on zero. And now I'm looking for football and that piece of pie is going to be 81. So then I'm going to go over here to 80 and then it's one past 80. So I'm going to make a mark right at 80 and then one past 80 which would be 81 and that mark is going to be right there okay so I'm just going to make a little mark right there and so then I'm going to spin my protractor around or get a ruler if you have a ruler either way I'm going to spin it around and line it up to that mark that I just made and then I'm going to extend the line from center all the way to the edge of the circle, okay, but lined up with that point that I made, and that should be 80 degrees, okay, and then I'm going to make um, a mark here in that piece of pie and say that that's going to be football, okay. Now, you don't write the degrees in the pieces of pie because the degrees are just what you used in order to make the piece of pie. So I can write the number of votes, you know, like baseball got 255, or I could make that a percentage by saying 255 divided by the total, which is 2369 uh, times 100, because it's a percentage, and that is actually, it looks like 10.8%, so about 11%. Okay, so you can write the percentage, or you can write the number of votes, but you don't write the degrees. Um, that's just what you use um, in order to determine how big the piece of pie is. So that's a measurement that's not written. Okay, so same thing happens. <coughs> this becomes zero. My next one is 90. So make sure you're using the scale that counts up from zero. Like if I was going this way, I would be using this top scale, but since I'm moving this way, I'm going to use the bottom scale. So I'm going to go to 90. And so I'm going to go over here and make a mark right here at 90. Okay, so right at 90, I'm going to make a mark. And, um, and then I'm going to swing my protractor around again. And then I'm going to draw a line from the center to that mark. Okay, and that's going to give me 90. So right there, but then of course I only draw the line to this edge of the circle. Okay, and um, that's going to give me 90, and 90 happened to be basketball. So then I'll go over here and I'll write basketball in this part. Okay, 
Now, it is easier to do my larger chunks first. You don't have to, but it's definitely easier to do that because then whatever's left is going to be your smaller chunks. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to put my protractor right back on zero and line it up so it's right on that line because my line that I just made is now zero again. And now I'm going to go 25, and so that's going to be right there. And then I'm going to make a mark. And I'm going to continue to do this on around the circle. Okay. And then I'm going to swing it around until it lines up perfectly. And then I'm going to extend line to the edge of the circle and then this particular circle is soccer okay. and I'm going to do that all the way around the circle until I get all the way through um, 57 but, but, you know. and then my circle will be done and then I'll put um, favorite sports for my title and you can color you can go back and add the votes and the, or the percentages or whatnot, um, and that's how you do it, okay? So that's how you make a circle graph using a protractor.